Taika Waititi took a job because he was poor and wanted to feed his... Oh, boo-hoo. A wealthy Hollywood la-dee-da-dee-da director needed to feed his family before the rest of us. Well, you know what I say about that. The following video is brought to you through the generous support of viewers like you. If you like this content, then please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And for those who are in the position to donate, this channel thanks you. And so does this orange cat. Guess what? It's literally coffee. It is literally coffee. Wake up, smell the coffee. Now that society has crumbled around you, it's time to make sure you're fully stockpiled for the forthcoming apocalypse. And while I'm hunkered down with your cash, you'll be fully prepared to be angry at whatever we tell you to be. What better way to stir that anger than with a great tasting supply of Warmonger Coffee? We've been profiteering on war since the dawn of civilization. We haven't changed. Just how fast we can deliver our message and take your money has. Because when you're witnessing the end of society as we know it, you're going to want to arm yourself with that quick boost of caffeine in the morning. We offer light roast, dark roast, and our all new prepper blend. Ah, smells like victory. Premium Warmonger Coffee because we can't face the end times comfortably without you. If you would like to fund this organization, please give me money. I am not a rich Hollywood director. I would like people to help and keep me alive if there's any reason for me to be alive. Is there a reason for me to be alive? I don't know. Is it real? Is it Memorex? Taika Waititi need, needs to feed his family to how dare he take a job of a thing he did not care about. He had no interest in directing the Marvel movie, but he took Thor Ragnarok anyway. How dare he? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he wanted to work. See, now when I tell people specifically oh here I'm gonna get canceled again when I tell people specifically that I would love to sneak away in about 10 minutes with with a sexy Ghostbuster without cameras I mean that specifically without cameras I am not actually auditioning for a show however if people want to take advantage of that that is okay, but that's not my goal in this one. Mecca needs some relief right now. <laughs> From the pain and the pressure of dealing with the fact that A, YouTube is only filled with fake AI, artificial intelligence things, and people getting political funding, and B, I am not a part of either of that. Now, what are we talking about? I don't know, but whatever it is, She's not a Christian! Ah! What? Oh, they're, they're, those people are still mad at me. Those people are still mad at me. I am literally raising Beelzebub and Baphomet and Pazuzu with Literal, literal meditative incantations in Coptic. Do you want to watch me do that live? Do you want to film me with an IR camera? I know you do. You know where to find me. Now, Taika Waititi has no interest in this because he needs to feed his kids. Guess what? Is this, is this, are, who's bad about this? Are people mad about this? We will be mad about this. We will be mad that he took a job. Like everybody else. How much of the entertainment industry, right, is literally this? How much of everybody in any industry is literally this? So when I see people who are like, oh, these women who ruin comic books, right? How many of this is just a lot of women who are told you need to be into geek stuff because people aren't going to find this and this and this or else, you know, so you need to try and pretend to have some interest in this and this. And when you, and when you go through and are actually interested in Star Trek and playing video games and talking about the, the weird cultural stuff like the AI taking over, the weird feminism, what's this going on with, why are we seeing all these things over and over again, right? People... When I pulled up that Captain Marvel, the Futurist Female cover, and I said, what kind of weird BS is this that you're pandering to me as a woman, as a woman 
that I need to see myself represented on screen with this again because we did this with Ghostbusters, didn't we? We did the same thing with Ghostbusters where they're like, you can't be a Ghostbuster unless you're a woman or unless you're a man and you need to see yourself on screen as a woman unless you, or you can't be a Ghostbuster. I'm like, look, bitch, look, bitch, I'm not putting on a jumpsuit. I'm not putting on a jumpsuit, but I am going to whip out and play with your EMF detector. I am going to play with those REM pods. I am going to juggle whatever little orbs and ovuluses you got for me to juggle. And, ju and jingle and I can be a damn parapsychologist too if I want to be baby I just don't have any way or means to know how to do that because I am under so much pressure to just try and deal with YouTube this or that trying to survive trying to keep just like everybody else on this planet how many of these women get into comics and stuff because because somebody just needed a freaking job how many of these people just start talking about comic book movies and stuff because that's an interesting thing that gets the clicks for the viewers that popped in for that one video that hit how many people still are talking about the same topics despite the fact that all of the crazy little NPC blank people out there went off onto their political escapades and went and shuffled off into these into these micro whatevers where all they do is be mad at rainbows because they've been psychologically, socially programmed to be mad at rainbows. I don't know. I don't know. Are people just taking jobs because they need them? Yes. Yes. Is there more to life than taking a job because you need it? Yeah. Sometimes you want to have sex right on top of the Bonnie and Clyde death car, right over their dead corpses to say, huh, twerk, 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 neener, neener, neener. Guess what? We're, we're going to, we're going to do it anyhow, anyhow, nana, nana, boo, boo, stick your head in doo doo. <laughs> talking about I don't know I just go on these rants and I just kind of go off into crazy town which is fun because it's good on camera isn't it that's how you're supposed to make a living that's how you're supposed to say things talk about all these things all these people though you get you get is this even a legit article that they're that they're supposed to be mad is this something it's supposed to be designed to be outrageous or is it supposed to be, hey, take sympathy on him, poor him, because I'm kind of like, you know what, you know what, you're, you're sure you want to be a working director in Hollywood or in anything. You, that's your, ch your chosen field. That's what you want to do. Sure. At the same time, though, who's to blame when Hollywood keeps churning out these garbage things? Is Taika Waititi to blame? I don't think so in this case. I think it's the studios who are trying to capitalize on this old trend of Marvel and movies. We've been talking about this, this new young Marvel, the young, whatever, the, the MCU one with the Monvalani that they're setting up for the next thing. This younger demographic of people for a MCU Marvel Cinematic Universe, like the one as we know it, started 15 years ago. 15 years. Children grow up in such a short amount of time. This is like expecting kids in 1985 to still care about the Paul Butterfield blues band at Woodstock, okay? Now, that's that's pulling one way out of my ass. That's day three Woodstock, okay? That's the blues day. That's that's knowing that's knowing who went on when and what, right? That's like that's like that's like expecting kids to care about Melanie. Or Janice Ian, she didn't play Woodstock, but she might as well have. Melanie did. Point is, in 1985, kids were caring about Star Wars and E.T. and <laughs> video games and Centipede and Pac-Man and Nintendo and everything else that was coming out and all of our pop culture, weren't we? We were caring about the new thing, Back to the Future. We weren't, and that wasn't based on these 700-year-old comic books. And that's what we're getting now. We're getting these movies based on these old comic books again and again and again. It's like, it's like how many times are we retelling these same old myths? These comic books aren't exactly Cleopatra or Ben-Hur, all right? They're good enough for some things and for their art form, and you can do them well. The point is they're treating these comic book movies like they're the only thing that people can can see but they're also expecting a reaction like they are literally ben her 
or something that's going to be this most epic, amazing. And, and they want that out of the gate with every single film. And I was just talking about this with the Edgar Wright clip where he needs to, where, where he's saying, yes, we need to take a break from this. I think we do need to take a break from these films. What are we doing? Well, I'm, like I said, I'm going thrifting. I'm seeing what cool, spooky, weird, haunted stuff I can find. Do I have psychic powers? Am I a witch? Can I pull up Pazuzu and Beelzebub? Am I doing an elaborate parlor trick with Word Way, Sweet Sway, Word Association? Am I a master mentalist hypnotist? Am I off my rocker? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You tell me. I am going back to my live chat. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs>